Hey guys, John here. Behind me, I have the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. Super excited about this one. The all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. I get to show you guys the whole exterior of this one, and then we will also deep dive on into the interior too. So this one is one of three grades that is gonna be available for the 2024 model year. And these things are gonna start at mid $50,000. So what do you think about that down in the comment section? And also let me know what are your first impressions on this all new 2024 Land Cruiser. This one is going to be the Land Cruiser grade. We have the 1958 grade, the Land Cruiser grade, and then we also have a first edition grade that is going to be at the very top of this new Land Cruiser. But this is beautiful heritage blue and we also have like a grayscale up on the roof too. So we will start this up front here. Tons of heritage cues going on with this all new Land Cruiser. Every single one of them will have a nice heritage grill that spells out Toyota, which I really, really like that. So all of them will say Toyota right there in the center. And then the 58 and the first edition, they're actually gonna have circular headlights reminiscent to those Land Cruisers over there. Whereas this one is gonna be kind of like the FJ62, where it's gonna have more rectangular headlights on it. So touching on a lot of different Land Cruisers with this new one, and you'll also see that when we start to look at the side of it. These fog lights on this Land Cruiser are nice rigid ones you can see right there. They're kind of like the Tacomas. You can either do them like an amber or a yellow color, or you could flip them and they could be white. Nice approach angle too on this Land Cruiser. Looking down here, we got some skids and we also have some recovery hooks. And then also we're kind of cut out right here. You could see a little bit of a chin spoiler, but when I was checking them out earlier, we can see that those may be easily removable, kind of like the Tacoma's air dam a little bit. So if you wanted to get a little bit more ground clearance out of this Land Cruiser, it looks like that may be easily removable right there. Right below the Heritage Toyota, we can see our radar for our radar cruise control. And then a little bit further below that, we can see our camera for our full 360 camera view. But what do you guys think of this Heritage Blue and this whole front end? I think it looks really good. And I didn't know if I was gonna like these lights more than the 58 one, because I really like the circular lights that the Land Cruiser has. But my gosh, these triple beams in this actually look really good. This whole package on this one, man, is just, Holy crap, it's just screaming my name. It looks so nice. Coming over to the wheels. So we've upgraded the wheels and tires on this one compared to the 58, because the 58 is at the bottom, Land Cruiser middle, first edition up above that. But we got 265-70R18 Michelins on this one and a nice kind of matte black 18 inch wheel. We are six lug here too. This whole truck is riding on Toyota's TNGAF platform, like the Tacoma, Tundra, Sequoia, LX600, new GX. We have some nice new suspension on this one. Fully boxed, nice rigid frame, and also the same kind of felt liner up here like a lot of the new vehicles have. We run into some a little bit of plastic right here. And again, those air dams right there, we can see some nice little pop rivets. Our A pillar on this is very aggressive. Nice little rake to it too. Really helps with visibility to look out over this nice flat hood. I'll show you guys that when we get inside. So, and these mirrors. I really like these mirrors, just how non-traditional they are, but they are traditional to all the Land Cruisers. I mean, especially the FJ Cruiser. Look at that. Look at that mirror. And then look at this one, right? Very, very awesome. As we continue down the whole side profile of this truck, you can see in our passenger door right here, it hips up a little bit. That body line continues. And then we also have the black piece right here on the A pillar that separates the roof color to the body color. So we have this black piece right here, a nice gray, nice black on the roof rails. And we also have black right here separating that and the heritage blue. Coming to the back of it, all blacked out badging right here. We have Toyota written across, Land Cruiser over here on this side. And then we do have the iForce Max badge right here and we will get into that powertrain later in this video. But what do you guys think about the rear end? We have a nice receiver hitch area right there. This Land Cruiser can tow up to 6,000 pounds. You have your pins for your receiver right there and also a nice little re recovery hook right there if needed. And we also have our parking sensors there on the back. Going on into the inside now. So this is a step up from the 1958 one and I can immediately tell there's a big difference. So that 1958 one is definitely gonna be the more rugged off-roader, get in it, customize it how you want. This one is kind of like luxury almost, but 
still rugged at the same time. Coming over to the door card, we have actual soft touch right here. We still have kind of that rubberized plastic that the other truck had, but we have soft touch here, soft touch there. Our memory seats right up in here. Coming over into the dashboard area, we have our inverter, our two, our switches right here for our two fog lights, the trailer brakes right here. Going over to our steering wheel, it is an electronic steering wheel. Looks like we have paddle shifters on it too, what? Looking at our seats, nice heated ventilated seats. These things feel super plush and nice. And then these seats are actually automatic seats too. Whereas on the 58, you're gonna get it with manual seats. Let's go ahead and hop on in. So hopping on in, we got a moonroof in this too. That's sweet. So very, <laughs> very comfortable. Move our seat down a little bit forward. Look at the beautiful Land Cruiser Heritage Museum. Look at this view, this is insane. Nice big window to see out of. Good grab handle too on the A pillar. I really like the dash of the Land Cruiser. We have the upgraded 12.3 inch screen in this one. We'll go ahead and turn the whole vehicle on. Got a digital rear view mirror, which is nice. We're gonna have that nice new Toyota MID right here. You can fully customize it. You could change your gauges on the left, your gauges on the right, and then you could also have three settings with it, which is nice. And then we have a nice 12.3 inch screen right here. I really like the steering wheel, guys, because it is not like Tundra or Tacoma or Sequoia. It is very reminiscent to like old Toyota style right here. I mean, I feel like I'm in my night. I had a 95 Forerunner, and this steering wheel <laughs> really kind of feels like that. So you have Toyota, written out in heritage style. Nice like kind of flat piece right here. Very nice steering wheel. And then looking down at the center console too, we have ventilated seats on this one, heated seats, dual climate control, a heated steering wheel right over here. And then a really nice center console area where we have our drive select modes. So you have sport. I'm sure, sure that'll be a Land Cruiser in the future, but this is all prototype normal and eco. And so since this one has multi-terrain select, you would be able to press that and then change out your terrains right here. We have our crawl control right below that. We go further down. So see, this one is a bit different than what we saw in those leaks. So this one looks like the GX does where you have your rear locker, your center locker, and then these are always four wheel drive. So it's a full time four wheel drive system. You could be in four high, four low, and then we can also lock the center diff and lock the rear diff. And both of those are standard on every single Land Cruiser, which is really, really cool. Looking up here, we have our three USBs. This one is our data USB-C, and then we have two charging ones. Right below that, we have a wireless charger, two cup holders right here, a nice solid uh, center console, and actually pretty decently big and then taking a look over here on the passenger side, nice soft touch materials. Holy crap, the whole dash is actually soft touch too. This is gonna be such a solid vehicle and it is made in Japan, so you know it's gonna be solid. But let's go ahead and put this at kind of like my driving position. I'm five foot 11. We'll put this at my driving position. And then as I do that, I notice that this is a nice like soft material right here too. That's pretty sweet. We're gonna go ahead and get out and then go into the back seats. So we have the back seats right here. Again, nice soft materials through it. Kind of like the 4Runner, as if I was to get in the back of my 4Runner, but a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead, get in. We have a nice uh, handle right there on the B pillar. Go ahead and sit inside. Now this is a very upright seat right now, but what I like about this seat, if I could find the handle, is that it will recline. So your second row reclines, which is nice. We have our climate control back here, and it looks like this is a three zone climate control, so we can control our climate back here. And we have two more USB-Cs and also an outlet right there. Not a whole lot going on in the back, but it is very comfortable. And now we'll go to the tailgate area. So coming to the back, oh my gosh, I love these lights. Check those out. It looks so good. So coming to the back, guys, it is not a split hatch. It is a full hatch that goes all the way up, but these Land Cruisers are gonna only be five seaters. So you have a fold flat, or you have a completely flat rear floor back here. You got storage right there, storage over here, which is nice. Storage over here on this side, which is very cool. Our battery is gonna hang out right under here. So that's where our battery is gonna be at. And then you also have your bottle jack right there. Now your seats will fold flat or they will ironically tumble forward too in case you maybe need to reach something right here, but the seats do fold flat. I'll show you guys that real quick. 
So by this handle here, this isn't like finished material, but you can fold the seat flat. Like you would just have to kind of hold it right there and lock it into place, or it will tumble all the way forward too. Maybe if you need to like lat or reach something, or it looks like there's some storage right here too. So let's go ahead and pop the hood on this one. And guys, this is a very, very heavy hood though too. So one hand, yep, got it. Now, it is a prop hood, unfortunately, so just a second. All right, so let's take a look at what powers this thing. Now, if you wanna go in the comments, say it should have been a V8, should have been a V6, whatever, I understand, go ahead, let me know, but let me throw up some numbers for you guys. So this is the 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine mated to an eight-speed transmission. It is an in-parallel hybrid system. We have our hybrid components right here. So yes, it is a Land Cruiser. It is not as big as the outgoing 200 series, right? It is a bit smaller, but here are the numbers of this iForce Max Hybrid. The outgoing 5.7 liter V8 had more horsepower, but it had less torque. Now for something like an off-road SUV where you may be towing, you know, upwards of 6,000 pounds, or you want that low end kind of torque to be helping you out while you're off-road, I would rather have more torque that this one has, right? Like 64 more foot-pounds of torque that this one has versus the outgoing V8. Now, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different arguments people are gonna make that it's a four-cylinder, all, all this stuff. We haven't driven them yet, so we don't know, but we will see how these things drive hopefully soon and uh, just see how well this engine actually pushes this vehicle. So guys, that is it with the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. Let me know what you all think about it down in the comment section, and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.